Hello, I'm Carolina from Sweet Carolina and I will help you to go through the recipe of the vegan chili so we can all be part of a stay-at-home feast and enjoy with maybe with our neighbors, with our family, uh, a meal together. If we don't have to go to our neighbor's house but we can put something in a container, drop it in the door or maybe you have an elderly neighbor or someone that you can help uh, to have a special Sunday as we always ha have at feast. So first of all we're going to go through the ingredients that you will need. You will need uh, one red pepper. I didn't find one really big, so I decided to go for two smalls. One white onion. 250 grams of uh, mushrooms. These are chestnut mushrooms, but actually you can use anything you find in the market or everything you find in your fridge or in your cupboard. It doesn't need to be exactly the same ingredients as far as it's the same filling. Uh, two tins of chopped tomatoes. I normally rinse them to use all the juice on the cooking. I put it separately and if I need some I will be adding during the cooking. And uh, 200 milliliters of vegetable stock. Then one can of uh, kidney beans, one can of black beans and one can of cannoli beans. On the spices, uh, spices side you will need one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin. I have seeds, the recipe says powder, but uh, you can use any of those, will, will make the work. One teaspoon of uh, chili flakes, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one big tablespoon of olive oil. I really like the things to have the, the moisture of the olive oil, so it's a little bit more there, but we will see how, how we go. So first we're going to chop the onions and the peppers. I like to chop them not very big, not very small, so you can taste the pieces when you eat it. Then we are going to um, chop the peppers. So take up, uh, take up the green part and all the seeds out of the pepper. If you don't have red peppers and you have green peppers, yellow pepper, any pepper will make the work. So don't worry, if it, it doesn't need to be the perfect red pepper. You can cut them in dice, you can cut them as you like. I really like them in really thin stripes. I think it, it adds a texture to the, um, to the bean at the end. And it's nice if they are thin, so they, they add texture, but they don't overtake in flavor. So they are thin stripes, they will cook nice and quick. Um, will melt a little bit in the sauce later. Okay, so um, you have the onions and the peppers all um, cut. So we are going to put in a dip. Uh, pan, all of them. Okay, so we chop the mushrooms as well. These are quite big, so I'm, I'm, I'm chopping them in slightly bigger chunks. If yours are not that big, you can just cut them in quarters like this, but I think these quarters are too big, so I'm, I'm cutting them slightly like in eight each mushroom. So mushrooms goes inside the pan as well. And we're going to put all the spices and olive oil in. So again, the paprika, one teaspoon, one teaspoon chili flakes, two spoon, a spoons ground or uh, cumin seeds, two teaspoons ground um, coriander and one teaspoon sea salt. So all go in. I mix it with a little bit of a, a wooden spoon so all the spices get mixed well. So then we're going to put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Um, and anyway I always like to check the thing so you 
every 10 minutes go and, and see, stir them a little bit and put them back, okay? So, and off to the oven, be back. Okay, so we are off from the oven after 25 minutes and um, we have these lovely veg um, that you can see them there. No? They, if you can just smell them, you will fall in love. Well, now we are going to add then uh, the beans that we said we have. Uh, one tin of uh, kidney beans, one tin of black beans, one tin of cannelli beans. So we pop them in. I rinse them under the water to take any nasty flavor that they can have. So they go all in together with the tomatoes. There are two tins of chopped tomatoes or two tins of any kind of tomatoes that you have or even if you don't have tins of tomatoes and you have fresh tomatoes, you can cut fresh tomatoes, pass them through the blender and there you go. And um, the stock. We are using vegetable stock because we are doing a vegan option of the um, of the bean chili, but you can use anything you want. You can add anything you want. If you are like more meaty things, you can put some pieces of chicken, you can put some pieces of uh, chorizo, uh, some shredded meat, anything you like. So we mix it and then we will pop it back in the oven for a further 35 minutes. Look how it might look. Another 35 minutes, same temperature, uncover. Um, then we will enjoy it. See you in a minute. Right, so 35 minutes in the oven and that's what you will have. A super yummy bean chili. We are going to eat it in a really simple way with my family. I just cook some um, rice. I use whole grain uh, rice with a little bit of uh, water and veggie stock as well. So I will just put some rice on one side, some chili bean on the other side with this yummy sauce, a little bit of coriander and a little extra chili just. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy it and have a really nice stay at home feast. See you soon. Bye.